This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com. Today I'm going to give you a quick look at the Samsung App Store as seen on the Samsung S8500 Wave, the first BATA powered device. This is the App Store itself, a pretty traditional looking layout. You know, you've got featured top apps and um, you can also browse by category. You know, say, um, pick games. You'll notice a few things are in a different language. Um, I had to access the Dutch version of this site, so most of the stuff comes through in English, but um, there's definitely going to be a few things like uh, board spelling, um, which I mean, which means board games in Dutch. You're going to see a few things like that, so don't be alarmed. Um, it'll be set up to work for whatever uh, country you happen to be accessing it from. It's just not accessible from the United States right now. Again, we'll go back to the top, and you can see what the top applications are. Most of these, um, these are all free right here. If we tap on paid, we can see paid as well. There's search functionality, so let's just uh, type in battery here. Let's see what it comes up with. And there are two applications with battery in the title. I'm going to go through and um, install this battery life application. Now, like on the uh, iPhone or the iPad, as soon as you hit get, you know, it'll start the process for a free application and then you'll see it start downloading here on the screen. And you see as this wave goes up, grows up to the top of the icon as it's installing. Now it's fully installed, at which point we can simply run it by tapping on it, as you would expect. And here's the application it's showing that we have 65% of battery life left and some estimates on talk time, uh, application use, Wi-Fi browsing, that kind of stuff. The thing I really like um, with Bata in general is the way you can uninstall applications just by putting the uh, menu into edit mode and then tapping on the minus sign. Of course, if it's running, we can't do that, so I'm going to flip over and kill the application first. There it is, battery life. Again, the minus sign. Go back to the menu and let's see if we can uninstall it this time. And there we go. I'm going to show you as much of the process as I can for buying a paid application. Um, we're going to take battery check right here and you'll notice that instead of saying get for the button, it's going to say buy. And it's going to depend on what markets you're in and whether you have carrier billing and stuff. But you can see when I hit buy here, it's going to offer me only credit card. Uh, unfortunately, I still can't even do that because I need a, a Samsung account and I'm unable to create an account from the U.S. right now. So it's about as much as I can show you. But otherwise, you know, it seems pretty much like the process for getting a regular application. Can download one more application, though. We'll get this Real Football 2010 app. Again, I'll show you the you know, description, screenshots, and things like that. So take a look at that and see what the graphics look like. And as with the last application, you're going to see the wave start building up. Now, obviously, this is a larger app. The wave at the bottom of the icon is taking much longer to uh, build up. We're on a Wi-Fi connection, so it's still going to be faster than it would be on 3G in general. While we're waiting for that to load up, I'm going to show you how you manage the application screen. If I go into edit here, you'll see that I can create new windows for organizing the applications. We had three before, now we have four because I just inserted a blank one. So we can organize things, you know, based on, you know, the type of app, you know, games, built-in applications, things like that. And in case you hadn't noticed, I uh, probably didn't show you this in the previous video, you can do the same thing for your home screens. Very easy to add home screens or remove them just by going into the widget edit mode. Again, we'll see the running applications by long pressing the button here. You can drop back into Samsung apps and you can see it's showing the download progress. We can continue to search for new applications while that's happening. 
there are not a ton of apps in the Samsung apps market right now, but um, you know the, the first device, you know, the Wave here just hit the market, so under kind of understandable. Let's drop back to the main menu and I'll pull up uh, different applications uh, that I previously installed. Bubble level, um, not too complicated as you might guess. It's just using the built-in uh, accelerometer and stuff to act as a level. You can see as I tilt the phone, you know, the bubble moves just like you would something you bought from the hardware store. Uh, let's see, we've got Hit My Boss this is a kind of a funny game. What I did is I defined Brad Pitt as my boss. I took to take a picture off the internet here. Let's see if I can turn the volume down a little bit. And basically what you do is Brad Pitt's going to appear on the screen and I'm just going to knock him silly. And you'll see him get bruised up as I beat on him. And there's his eye finally went. Brad's proving to be tougher than some of the other uh, opponents I've had. There, it looks like I've knocked a tooth or something. Or it's a band-aid, there you go. Kind of a funny application. You can see his uh, cheeks all swollen up. Oh, and it looks like Brad can heal pretty well. Uh, kind of like Wolverine, I suppose. You can take a snapshot of that. So you can save it for another time. Go back to, let's see what else we got here. Shotgun was uh, pretty simple. I mean, nothing too exciting there. It's not using the accelerometer. Uh, there are some random effects that we can put on. You know, can't fire until I reload. Oop. Looks like I hit somebody. Another application, again, touchscreen based uh, basketball here. Clever name. So there's some neat applications and you know definitely the Super AMOLED display um, shows them off quite well. You go back here you can see that the game is fully loaded. It's been installed so let's check it out and see what it looks like. Don't need to see the intro. to warn you, I have no idea how to play the game. Uh, it looks like we're dragging and stuff, so we'll see what it looks like. But uh, don't expect much of me. You can see some pretty good quality graphics here. Figure it out. Oh, I see. He's well in. Good graphics, though. A little bit difficult without a D pad controller, though. And lastly, I'm just going to pull up a flashlight application. It's called Magic Torch. Uh, outside of the US uh, flashlights are called torches. Uh, you have a few different options here. You can switch to a fluorescent bulb if you like, uh, fluorescent tubes, and of course just a plain white screen which is going to be the brightest thing out there. Uh, but again, a lot of cool applications. So far the quality of the apps seem pretty decent. Some of them are a little simple. Um, I do like the way the App Store works, the downloading. I love the way that you can uninstall things you know, very easily just by uh, tapping on the minus button. 
and I've really liked the Bada overall on the Wave. You know, this Wave's become a, a favorite device of mine. I'm not sure I could use it as a day-to-day -day device without a physical keyboard, but I really like what Samsung's been doing so far. So in any case, that's a look at the Samsung App Store for the Samsung S8500 Wave. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.